This video is brought to you by NOCOM. Hello and welcome back to Simple Tech Reviews. On this video, we bring you a two-component car camera combo. First, we have the NOCA F1 dash cam. The F1 is a tiny but feature-packed dash cam that measures only 2.5 inches. It records clear day and night videos and can be accessed by Wi-Fi. And second on this combo, we have the NOCA 216 rear backup camera. The 216 is a very small IP68 waterproof rear camera that offers a 160 degree field of view, good night visibility, and reverse grid lines. Let's begin opening the dash cam. We first see the user manual, then we have the F1 mini dash cam, next is the mini USB lighter power adapter, and finally the two mounting brackets. One is a suction cup mount and the other a smaller less noticeable ball joint mount with 3M tape. Now let's open the rear camera. First we have the camera itself, then the RCA component video cable, a set of screws to mount the camera, a thank you card, and finally the installation guide. Having a closer look at the dash cam, on the front we have the 1080p 150 degree camera and the speaker. On top there's the mount slot, on the left there's a mini USB power port, on the right a mini HDMI video out port, on the bottom we see the micro SD card slot up to 32GB, the microphone and the reset pinhole. And on the back there's a 1.5 inch IPS display and the buttons for power, menu, mode, up and Wi-Fi, OK, down and mute. The rear camera is very tiny, measuring a mere 1 inch which make it less noticeable. And the camera cable is 19 feet long. The dash cam installation is very easy. First decide if you want to mount using the suction mount or the 3M tape mount. If you decide to use a smaller tape mount, make sure you test it before setting it in place as the tape will strongly hold it in place and will be difficult to relocate after installing. Insert the microSD card into the camera, slide the camera into the mount, connect and route the power cable, and connect the lighter power adapter so that the camera starts recording when the ignition is turned on. The dash camera comes with a Novatec 96658 processor and Sony's IMX323 image sensor for clear day and night videos. It also uses a supercapacitor instead of lithium batteries to prevent any risk of battery failure, which also makes it better withstand extreme temperatures. To install the back camera, find the best location that suits your vehicle and route the camera cable all the way to the front of your vehicle to your head unit or rear video monitor and connect the yellow RCA video cable and the red trigger wire. At the rear of the vehicle, make sure that you connect both the red and black wires to your reverse bulb so that the camera's view is triggered when you shift it to reverse. The rear camera is weatherproof and offers a nice 160 degree field of view which is very nice to cover blind spots behind your vehicle. Let's now have a look at the dash cam settings. In the settings, you can change the camera's recording resolution, set the loop recording between 2, 3 or 5 minutes, Set the wide dynamic lighting option, turn the motion detection on or off, mute the microphone, use the date video stamp, set the G-sensor sensitivity, use the Wi-Fi feature which we'll discuss in a moment, set the date and time, set the auto power timeout, turn the beeping noise on or off, set the language, format the SD card, and reset to factory settings. You can also play back any recorded video. Now, in order to use the camera's Wi-Fi feature, you will need to install the RODECAM app from your app store. Turn Wi-Fi on the dash cam and open the app on your phone. There, you will see the camera listed as F1 CARDV. Click the camera icon to connect to it. 
Once inside the app, you will be able to see a live preview of the camera on your phone. Here, you can start or stop the recording, take pictures, go into the settings and change the dash cam's parameters wirelessly. You can also trim and share recording clips. And most importantly, you will be able to view the camera's recordings on your phone through the Wi-Fi connection without having to remove the SD card if you need to provide evidence. In conclusion, this dash cam and rear camera combination is a great way to protect yourself and your vehicle when backing up and when on the road in case of any incidents. The dash cam will record all of your trips in full HD clear video with its 1080p camera and the rear camera will provide you a nice wide angle rear view to avoid any dangers that may be hidden in blind spots when backing up. If you'd like to get this camera combo from Noka, don't forget to click the link provided below. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please consider subscribing, commenting and sharing. Next are the dashcam video sample clips for your evaluation. I'll see you on our next review.